Good evening. I'm Daniel Vandenberg, ZL2DRV in New Plymouth. And I'm Sarah Jane Moore at Headquarters Upper Hutt. And I'm Stephen McNeil, ZL4HG from Christchurch. And I'm Jim Meacham, ZL2BHF in Nelson. And together we bring you the NZRT official broadcast for August 2024. Good evening everyone and welcome to tonight's broadcast. Leading the lineup tonight is presidential comment. Here's our NZRT president, Daniel Vandenberg, ZL2DRV. Daniel? Kia ora and pomarere. August has flown by and spring is right around the corner. We are still searching for a club to host the 2025 NZART AGM conference. If your club is willing to host next year's AGM conference, please let us know ASAP. Council is awaiting the report of the independent review of the AREC LLC proposal. Once we receive and read it, we will work on the next steps. The website team met this past week and I'm delighted to report that quite a bit of progress towards an updated revitalised website has happened. As part of this work, NZART's new website will have a members only section. To have access to to this feature, NZART members will require to have on record their current working email address to email you your login details. Rob, ZL2WAL, and the team feel they should be ready to go live sometime in November. Please ensure that HQ has your updated email address by the end of October to be certain you have day one live access. That's it from me. Back to you, Jim. Thank you, Daniel. NZRT President Daniel Vandenberg, ZL2DRV. The Manawatu Amateur Radio Society, Branch 20 NZART, is holding its annual table sale on Saturday the 5th of October at the Longburn Community Centre, 17 Nairi Street in Longburn. That's off State Highway 56. Now the doors open for sellers at 8.30am and the rope will drop to start trading at 10am. This year, the selling area will be roped off until 10am with only sellers setting up allowed. However, the kitchen and toilet area will be open beforehand. The usual kitchen food along with hot and cold drinks will be available. Now the cost of a table to sell your own surplus goods will be $25 for a full table, $15 for a half table. You're requested to have these booked and paid for by Friday the 27th of September. Now for further details or to book a table, email tablesale at zl2ko.org.nz. Remember this is a cash-only event, so please bring small change if possible. That's the Manawatu Branch 20 table sale on Saturday the 5th of October at the Longburn Community Centre, 17 Nairi Street in Longburn. It's to Upper Hutt we head now to join Sarah Jane Morrow at NZRT Headquarters. Thank you, Jim, and kia ora NZRT. Our business manager, Debbie, will be away until late October. I will be holding down the fort in the meantime while she is away. We wish her safe travels and the best of luck and look forward to her return. Invoices for 2025 have been sent out. For those we did not have a valid email address for, we have posted the invoice in the mail. Due to an issue with zero, some of the invoices are missing information about the rebate and paying by credit card. The missing information is as follows. If you pay before 30th of November, then you may deduct $15 from the balance of the invoice. If you are paying by credit card, please return the invoice along with your card number, expiry date, and CVV. HQ has become aware of a handful of people who have received their break-in magazine with multiple errors. These include missing pages and double pages. Please reach out to HQ if your issue of break-in contains errors, and we'll send one out to you. That's all from us at HQ. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane Morrow reporting from NZART headquarters. The New Plymouth and South Taranaki branches 27 and 87 are holding a junk sale on Saturday the 28th of September at the Mongeray Memorial Hall on the corner of Kent Road and State Highway 3 New Plymouth. 
Vendors set up from 8am, buyers from 10am, food and refreshments will be available. Tables, they're $20. To reserve a table and or for more information, please contact the secretary, email secretary at zl2ab.com. Secretary at zl2ab.com. That's the New Plymouth and South Taranaki branches junk sale on Saturday the 28th of September. Now for an update on international amateur radio news, we join the team at the Amateur Radio News Line. We begin this week's report with a rocket launch that has created a mess in space. The recent launch of China's Long March 6A rocket, which sent 18 broadband internet satellites into polar orbit, has added to the proliferation of space debris. A malfunction of the rocket's upper stage sent more than 700 fragments into a high orbit of 800 kilometers. According to a report by the AMSAT News Service, their orbital decay will take at least 25 years. The satellites themselves are part of the new constellation by Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology. Known as Thousand Sails, the constellation is expected to expand to include as many as 14,000 satellites. It is considered a direct competitor to Starlink, Project Kuiper, and OneWeb. A longtime member of the development team for the N1MM logger has become a silent key. We hear about him from Dave Parks, WB8 ODF. Lawrence William Gautier Jr., K8UT, was a DXer, a software expert both professionally and in ham radio, and an involved, community-minded Michigan resident. An accomplished and award-winning DXer, he was also deeply committed outside of radio to such activities as scouting and assisting community nonprofits with their websites. Larry became a silent key on the 13th of August. First licensed as a ham since 1968 with the call sign WB8BGO, Larry strove to harness the software expertise of his professional career to assist his fellow ham radio operators. He became part of the team that developed the popular N1MM logger, most recently offered his support by helping keep the documentation up to date and maintaining the website. He belonged to the Southeast Michigan DX Association and the South Lion Amateur Radio Club. Larry was 73. This is Dave Parks, WB8ODF. Amateurs in New Zealand and DXers around the globe are mourning the loss of a noted DXer and friend. We hear about him from Jim Meachin, ZL2BHF. Like most other accomplished DXers, Ron Falconer, ZL4RMF, was well known for a signal that circled the globe. He was also known for an equally strong devotion to the contacts he made. Friends say Ron was never one to chase awards. What he valued were the many QSOs and the bonds that grew out of them. Ron, who had ongoing health issues with pulmonary fibrosis attributed to a lifetime of farming, became a silent key on the 3rd of August, according to his nephew, Murray Falconer. His friend and fellow team member for the NZART Jock White Field Day, John Graham, said L4RO, recalled Ron as, quote, a DXer, contester, netmaster, and rag-chewing expert, end quote. Friends recalled that Ron became known for his carefully set up shack in the pursuit of the joy of DX. John wrote, quote, his call sign often appeared on the QRZ DX list. No mean feat to achieve. Many hams visiting New Zealand made a point of coming to visit Ron at his QTH. They were made very welcome and a shack tour was mandatory, end quote. Ellen Hayes, ZL4MD, said that Ron had more than 10,000 confirmed contacts across 161 countries. His friends worldwide were the awards he earned, and he always took time to nurture a love for radio in younger operators. Martin Belch, ZL4JH, secretary of NZART's Otago branch, said Ron might even take a visit to the UHF-VHF bands if communications help was needed locally, such as at a car rally. His nephew Murray said that in the end, Ron was cared for at home by his nieces and nephews as his health worsened. Murray said this enabled him to, quote, continue his radio passion right up to and including the day he passed. End quote. Ron died just short of his 72nd birthday. This is Jim Meachin, ZL2BHF. 
Competitors in the award scheme known as HEMA are getting ready for a big weekend event. At the end of this month, Jeremy Boot, G4NJH, tells us what's involved. Adventure radio enthusiasts have been waiting for the 31st of August and the 1st of September, the weekend that marks the official launch of the HEMA Awards program in New Zealand. Hams there are making a special effort on this debut weekend to fill their logs and are hoping for some trans-Tasman H2H contacts with Australian radio amateurs. Operators around the world wanting to earn HEMA awards should go to the HEMA website at hema.org.uk. The website contains a full explanation of how HEMA works. The New Zealand hams will be able also to upload their logs to ontheair.nz, that's on the air one word, dot nz, so they can compare their progress towards awards against other ZL hams. This is Jeremy Bucci for NJH. For now, with Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team worldwide. I'm Neil Rapp, WB9VPG in Union, Kentucky, saying 7-3. And as always, we thank you for listening. Amateur Radio Newsline is copyright 2024. All rights reserved. And as always, we say thank you to Newsline for the use of their copyright material. It's just under two weeks away now until Westfest 24 in Murchison, hosted by the Nelson Amateur Radio Club. This technology and social event will kick off on Saturday the 7th September with registration and morning tea starting at 9am and the technology talks commencing at 10am. Now the full programme for Westfest 24 is detailed on page 5 of HQ Info Line number 491 located on the NZART website. And of course that is www.nzart.org.nz. While there's no official registration to complete to attend Westfest 24, it would be appreciated if you could email a quick note to stuarts at l2str, email address strobnz at gmail.com, indicating your intention to attend. This will assist the organising team with numbers to plan for. Coming soon, Westfest 24 in Murchison on the 7th and 8th of September. Down to Christchurch now to join Stephen McNeil's at L4 HG with an update on activities of some NZRT branches. Thanks, Jim, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to another roundup of events from your area. To Marlborough Branch 22 NZRT, where the next meeting is on Thursday, the 12th of September, at the EOC in Blenheim, and it will feature the Constructors Awards. And just advance notice of the meeting on Thursday, the 10th of October which will be a sale and swap night. See your newsletter for more details. And finally to Otago Branch 30 NZART, which has meetings in its club rooms in McAndrew Road in South Sneden. On Wednesday the 4th of September, Neil ZL4UC will talk about getting four-wheel drives stuck on the West Coast trip. On the 18th of September, there will be an N1MM refresher, and if we peek ahead to the 2nd of October, the topic will be FT8. Well, that's all from me. Back to you, Jim. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen McNeil, ZL4HG, reporting from Christchurch. And before I go tonight, a final reminder of the Hamilton Branch 12 Amateur Radio and Market Day being held next Saturday, the 31st of August, at Gordonton Hall, 1024 Gordonton Road, State Highway 18. Now it opens for vendors from 8am, buyers from 10am. $2 for entry raffle at the door. That's the Hamilton Branch 12 Amateur Radio and Market Day next Saturday the 31st of August. Well, that's all for tonight. The next official broadcast of NZART will be made by ZL6A at 8pm on Sunday the 29th of September. This is ZL6A, headquarters station of the New Zealand Association of Radio Transmitters, concluding the official broadcast for August 2024. Good night, everyone. Good night now. <laughs>